After three days in Dunhuang, I thought it's about time to move on to my next destination, which is Xi'an. On the train, I met a couple of Chinese people and we played some cards and I made new friends. Welcome to the Thursday market in Xi'an. Okay, good morning guys. I have arrived to Xi'an uh, last night and uh, today we are going to experience the market in Xi'an. Yeah, as you know, I'm a uh, I love markets and um, yeah, I have with me Steven from the Alley Youth Hostel and Steven is gonna guide me through the market and explain me a little bit uh, about here on the market what's going on and later we will return to the market and get some nice uh, street shots. Okay, enjoy! Actually, in China, I have the traditional. Uh -huh. So, uh, about 300 years ago, uh -huh. in Xi'an, the city, just only have a two place can sell the, and for a treat. This is the west area. Okay. On the, on the east, have another place like that. Oh, like wow. That. But until now, just this area keep keep here. Okay. On the east, is uh, is empty. It's no person know that. Uh -huh. so this area. You see that? For the how do you that in English? Uh huh. Grab uh, grab town or grab. Uh, ah uh, yeah 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 yeah. Uh, what what that in English? Uh, in English, I think it's uh, it's grasshopper. Grasshopper is it? Something like that. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh! What's oh. <laughs> Nice to see you. Uh, we, we met yesterday in, a, in the restaurant here, uh, eating noodles, and I asked him some, some stuff, you know, and he said, like, oh, you have to order this and that. Oh, yeah. So, because, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was, I wanted to, you know, have the same thing he ate, yeah. Uh, Chinese guy have a for example in your country maybe the person like have a dog or a uh -huh. cat yeah but you know the tra the, tra the traditional old Chinese guy yeah like that or some bird some fish uh huh or, uh, how to see that I don't know how to speak in English yeah yeah I know they have uh, other different animal as a as a pet yeah actually the traditional is. The, the 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 worm uh, uh, just uh, can live in summer, uh -huh. but if the person were to take care of all of that, they will pass the winter. Uh -huh. They always keep that in the body, okay. near the body, because your body is warm. Okay. And like the animal feel still in the summer, so it's very interesting. Why person like that? Because See, you heard that? They sound uh -huh. like the, the person feel in you know, summer or spring. Okay. So they always uh, they want to keep the feeling. The people like that. The reason is they want to keep the feeling in the spring or summer. Okay. So. Guys, I'm speechless. This market is amazing and it's so huge. It's really huge. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, <there you> go. <laughs> oh, wow. 
This is totally is handmade. Oh, handmade. handmade, wow. Wow. Yeah, Stephen just uh, told us that uh, a minute ago that uh, people here have uh, different hobbies than in the West, like many people like for example have birds as pets and so you have here a market for birds I told you in uh -huh. the winter the people keep that one near the body oh. like the, the, the animal feels still in the summer is that oh wow it's like the first case uh-huh oh Okay, it's uh, very chaotic here at the market. Very narrow streets and people are passing by with their motorbikes and scooters. Anyway, my setup today is uh, I'm gonna go with my Ricoh GR, uh, with my Ricoh GR2, and I uh, have my Nikon uh, with the 24 17 millimeter lens. I will get out the Nikon uh, when I have the feeling and when I have established a good contact with the person I'm taking a picture of. Because uh, in this narrow streets here, uh, it's very important. Uh, uh, it's very important to have a small camera and um, go with uh, start with a small camera because um, first uh, you're not gonna scare the people off. A uh, big camera always scares people off and with a small camera you are introducing yourself and then if you establish the contact and the people are the, the people feel comfortable to have the picture taken um, then you can take out the, the big camera yeah it's very humid here guys I'm telling you it's crazy humid uh, I'm already sweating um, yeah, in uh, in the Central Asia, which uh, ends to me, yeah, after the Gansu province, um, or the beginning of the Gansu province is already starting to be more like a, yeah, the Southeast Asia temperature, uh, where it's really humid. In the desert, it was so dry, it was so nice. Yeah, the best market so far I've been to. I'm really excited and happy. Um, yeah, I'll keep going. I'll keep going on and uh, keep taking images. So I will blend them in. Yeah, you can hear easily. Some people cannot afford to, to have a really good uh, uh, feed made, and uh, yeah, so they go here to the market, and the people fix their prothesis. Yeah, especially old people. Yeah, here I found a really beautiful spot. Uh, the colors are really good, matching with the background. I mean, the colors of the clothes of the people. 
and the skin uh, are really good and matching with the background. So, no, the background. Which you send to the background? Your very friend? Good. No. You send to your Yeah, uh, I didn't know that BMW sells also uh, razors for hair. <laughs> yeah, guys, I had uh, my two hours of fun at the market. And now I'm gonna take a rest and um, yeah, I see you in the afternoon. Uh, I'll go back to the market one more time and then we're going to the south gate to explore the city wall of Xi'an. And that's it for today's episode. So I'll see you later. So my time in Xi'an was very short and I had only three days and um, I thought the first day I'm as always I will do nothing and I did also nothing because I had to relax from the long journey that I took from Dunhuang to Xi'an which lasted about 20 hours I guess in total and um, after that the second day I went to see the terracotta army soldiers uh, they are very famous for the, for Xi'an and um, I saw it and it was beautiful and the whole story around um, the terracotta army soldiers is very interesting and um, after that the last day I had uh, was uh, going to the market and um, that's what I did in the morning with Steven and um, he explained me a lot about the Chinese culture and the mar mar market and um, after that in the afternoon uh, I went to the walls of Xi'an and um, I walked around and met Dale and Dale is a um, fellow photographer from China from the Wuxi province and um, yeah we um, had a lot to talk and he also had a drone so we flew together and after that went for uh, dinner and a uh, couple of drinks yeah so I had a great time in Xi'an overall I have to say uh, I would love to come back but my time was limited and I had to keep it short because I wanted to invest more time in Beijing and Shanghai yeah guys um, I've met uh, Dale today Dale uh is from uh, Wuxi. Yeah, Wuxi, Jiangsu province of China. From uh, Jiangsu province. And he came as uh, also for touristic reasons here to Xi'an. And yeah, we, we met, to, uh, we met uh, at the wall. We were flying um, together. He's also a drone pilot. <laughs> and yeah, it was fun flying over Xi'an. And now uh, we're going to walk uh, along the walls of Xi'an and um, this is it for today uh, I haven't been doing much uh, in Xi'an I had only three days but this is uh, a city worth coming uh, again so I think in future I will come again here especially for um, street photography uh, on the markets and also in the town uh, it's really nice so yeah, this is it uh, from Xi'an and um, I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, it's okay? Yeah, yeah it's okay. Yeah.
thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this episode um, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel i see you in the next episode